Hello everyone. In last week's blog post, I addressed a question that was posed to me regarding linking Excel data to your property set data attributes in Civil 3D. After that, I received a follow-up question from that video asking, what about going the other way? What if I want to export data from the property set tables out into Excel? Well, let's take a look at some options there. First thing we'll show is uh, what we have in the file here. And I basically just have some simple data, very similar to last week, but here I have hard-coded property set data. This is not linked to a spreadsheet. I have some assessment data and owner assigned to these closed polylines, you can see here, in the extended data of the properties. And remember, if you're new to property sets, if you would go back and watch an intro video from my co-blogger, Jeff Bartles, where he'll walk through how to assign these. But let's get back to it. So the first thing I just want to show is a command that would export that property set data out to Access, Microsoft Access. So if we just type in export property data, run that command, and I'll pick these objects and right click to enter. Notice I can set a name for an MDB here. We'll overwrite that one. And let's take a look at it. Here, if I go down to my parcel table, you can see all the assessment and owner values for those parcels that I selected. So there's an access export. Let's take a look at Excel. So remember when we went up to the Manage Define Property Sets? A few weeks ago, we turned off this filter so that we could go down and create a list. Well, notice there's really, there's nothing in here about scheduling and that's on purpose. That was uh, actually hidden from this command just because uh, what I'm about to show could confuse a little bit with the AutoCAD tables and Civil 3D tables. But I just want to show you kind of how to do it just in case you need it because it will allow you to export to Excel really quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to type schedule and hit enter. And notice I have several things to pick here. I'm going to pick the style. And what that does is this goes into the same dialog box we just uh, were in but it opens up or unhides the table style. So what I have here, and I've already built one, but I created a table style and call it whatever you like. And we have formatting and the same thing. What does it apply to? And I just let this one apply to polylines because that's what I have in a file. But remember when we create any property set data, we can always pick what it applies to. And now columns here, all I did here was add the two columns that I would like. You can see here, I'll just delete this one for a bit and we'll go back and add that owner column back in just so you can see it. You can go add column. There's owner. Again, I have some properties that I can control. Now I have assessment owner. I can move those back and forth. Now I have sorting layout capabilities and then display properties. So I'm just going to take the defaults here. A lot of things you can set up here and I'm not going to go through all that. just want to show you how to build a table to get it ready to extract data in a schedule. So now I have a table created. And so now I'm ready to extract into a graphical schedule. Well, if I go in and type schedule again, if I scroll down through the options here, there is a, a form or a, um, a dash schedule add, which basically means take me to the add schedule command with a dialog. So we're going to run that. And it says, what is your style name? Or do you want to take the default? So I would need to know that style name. Remember I created it called Alan, but if I didn't know, I could type that in here, but I'm just going to hit enter because we only have one. And we have some other settings I'm going to run through here. I'm not going to scan XREFs or blocks. And no there, do you want an automatic update? I'll just say yes. And now ask me to select the objects. So I'm just going to select these and right click to enter. As for the uh, upper left corner, there we go. And I'm going to escape to finish. So now I have a schedule and this could be handy for a variety of reasons. If I had uh, property set data in the file. So how can I get this out to Excel? Well, if I go and uh, select the table and again, it's a schedule. If I right click, notice I can export directly from here. We get the export schedule table command. Here's my choices. I'll browse and I'll just drop it uh, in the same file as the drawing. 
and I'm going to hit OK. Let's go take a look. There we go, very simple. There's our schedule table. And one other, one other option I just wanted you to be aware of because uh, it could come in handy is I can turn this into a traditional AutoCAD table. So if I right click, there is an option to convert to table. So that can come in handy. I can convert to table and now I'm in a, a, a and again, I placed it right on top here. Let me move that over. So now I have a copy that is a traditional AutoCAD table. Just want to show that. So if you needed to go and link to Excel, you got all the options you would have with, with table. But let's talk about schedule. If I right click again, you can see I've got a lot of options here. Update. I've got um, the table style. I can go uh, hyperlink to edit that directly here. But you remember I selected the automatic update. So let's go and see how that works. So I'll select this large parcel here. We'll go to properties and that's Johnson. And so we'll change that to 300,000 for the assessment. Tab. And you notice as soon as I tab, my schedule updates. So I have a dynamic schedule at this point. And then again, notice I don't have any direct, you know, I can export here to Excel. But I don't really have a linked option to Excel. But if I go to convert to table, that would bring in a whole uh, another group of options that would be available to me. So I hope this video assists when you need to export out property data to some format like Excel or Access. Have a great day.